Iron is vital for all the living organisms since it is involved in multiple metabolic processes. Iron is a structural component of hemoglobin, which carries oxygen from the lungs throughout the body. In addition, iron is required for DNA synthesis as a structural component in many enzymes for electron transport, for muscle function, for the optimal function of immune system, and for proper brain activity. One of the major causes of iron deficiency is dietary deficiency, which means you are not taking enough iron through the diet. There are two types of iron in food, heme iron and non-heme iron. Heme iron is found in animal food sources such as meat and fish. Heme iron is easily absorbed into the body. By contrast, non-heme iron is found in plant food sources and it is not well absorbed into the body. Therefore, people who are not eating animal food tend to develop iron deficiency. Another important cause for iron deficiency is hemorrhage, especially chronic bleeding. Some of the conditions causing chronic bleeding include gastritis, tumors, especially malignant ones, long-term use of non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs such as aspirin, and gastrointestinal conditions such as Crohn's disease and hemorrhoids. Malabsorption of iron also causes iron deficiency. Iron is absorbed into the body by the small intestine. So, any pathology that affects the small intestine can lead to reduced iron absorption and iron deficiency. In addition, iron absorption requires an acidic environment, which is provided by the gastric acid. Therefore, any condition that affects gastric acidity will also lead to iron deficiency. Some of these conditions affecting the small bowel include celiac disease, Crohn's disease, and small bowel resection. Conditions affecting the gastric acidity include prolonged achlorhydria and gastric bypass surgery. Pregnancy is another situation where a woman can get iron deficiency. Here, both increased demand and bleeding can cause iron deficiency. Other less common causes of iron deficiency include hemoglobinuria due to kidney disease and burns, and pulmonary hemosiderosis, a condition characterized by repeated alveolar bleeding, and deposition of hemosiderin in lungs. People with iron deficiency remain asymptomatic until the iron stores become sufficiently depleted to compromise the red blood cell production. Due to reduced oxygen carrying capacity in blood, patients will develop fatigue, shortness of breath, and inability to perform hard labor. They will also develop muscle cramps, especially when climbing stairs. This occurs due to reduced synthesis of muscle proteins such as myoglobin. People with moderate to severe iron deficiency develop pagophagia, a condition where they crave ice to suck or chew. Some people will have a craving to eat non-food items such as clay and chalk, a condition known as pica. Due to reduced synthesis of non-hemoglobin proteins, people will have muscle dysfunction, dysphagia, or inability to swallow due to esophageal webbing, recurrent infections due to impaired immunity, and an altered behavior. Other manifestations of iron deficiency include nonspecific pallor of mucous membranes, such as pale conjunctiva, coilonychia, or spoon-shaped nails, ulceration in the angle of mouth, called angular stomatitis, and a glossy tongue.